hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to learn how to solve problems involving partial fractions using the Casio FS now an ES plus second edition central calculator easily fast and in seconds for multiple choice questions so ensure it stays the very end of this video as usual you guys are going to learn a lot all right so having known that let's get started this is the Casio FS and I want ES Plus Second Edition Centric Calculator. The very first thing you will have to do is to reset the calculator to put it in default mode. Very, very important, guys. So to reset, press Shift button now, follow the instruction. Want to clear or press the way, then press record and press record again. So right now we have reset the calculator is now in default mode. The next thing you will have to do is to store a number. Guys, I highly recommend to that you guys should be working with too. You can choose to store other values apart from two but i highly recommend two to be on the safer side because i've practiced with it for a long time and i have not found any error with it so to start two on this calculator press two then press shift this stop button this rc l button stands for store then we want to store it as x it press this button for x and it indicates that this value two has been stored on a calculator so we are good to go. Let's begin with question one. We have two questions to practice with. Alright, so question one, let's resolve it into partial fraction with the calculator. So it's in fraction, you press okay, to bring out x, you press alpha and this button. X will come out. So we have plus five. Alright, over we have two x square. Okay. Then we have minus five x okay we have minus three so that's it guys let's press the quote and see what the output will be minus 11 over 5 or minus 2.2 so right now we're going to simplify the options anyone that gives us minus 11 over 5 or minus 2.2 will be the correct option the idea behind solar partial fraction with the Casio calculator is to use a stored number to simplify the equation and also Use the same stored number to simplify the options to get similar values as outputs. Okay, so now that we have this as output, let's simplify the options and see the one that will give us similar value we have here as outputs. So let's begin with option A. We have a fraction 2 over x plus 3. Alright, we have minus. In fraction 1 over 2x minus 1. So that's it. Let's press equal to no. We got minus 11 over 5. So let's take option B. Adjust it here, guys. Then remove this one here and put 2. Okay. Then come to this side. We will remove this. So here um puts one so that's it let's press equal to no let's check option c it has to be option c guys so remove this negative sign and put plus and remove this two here and put one okay remove this plus sign here and put negative sign and remove this one here and put two so that's it, press equal to exactly. So the correct option is what option C. It's as simple as this, guys. This is the idea. Alright, we have some partial fractions with the Casio calculator. Hope you learned something interesting from this video. Now, guys, before you solve the last question and call it a class, if you are new to this channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more of these videos. Also, like, share, comment on this video. So let me know how you feel from what you're learning from this video. I really appreciate this guys and it helps the YouTube algorithm to promote this video the more. Alright, so and lot of people out there to see it and take advantage of it. Having done that guys to support me on this channel, let's go ahead and solve the last question and call it a class so that you guys understand this process well. Okay, so let's remove this. So question two we have is in fraction. We have five X after this. Okay, minus 7 over in bracket, we have x alpha x minus 
one close the bracket to the power make use of the power function the way so that's the press equal to we have three as output so right now let's simplify the options no one that gives us three as outputs with the answer to this question very very easy so let's begin with option a so we have five over in bracket x okay plus one close the brackets we have square so come over this with and put plus and fraction minus two okay in brackets we have x minus one so that's it guys close the brackets press equal two and see what we're going to have no we got away so let's check option b guys let's just adjust this here so for option b you just can't this i put this power okay to the power three all right negative sign is still here at the numerator then come to this side remove this plus sign and put negative sign all right so that's it guys let's press record two and see if we're going to have three as outputs three exactly so the correct option is what option b for question two so this is basically how you can solve problems involving partial fraction using the Cartier FS and our ES plus second edition scientific calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. Hope you learned something interesting from this video. Let's go to the video here, guys. If you are new to this channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button. Once more, to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what you have learned from this video. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding the things i've talked about in this video feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and i'll ensure to give you a response all right don't forget to reset the calculator once you are done just press shift button 9 for the instructions press the way press record and press record again so that's it now click on the screen above and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching